what would you say would be the the characteristics for somebody that would make them a good business owner that would make them enjoy running their own business oh right? i don't have it it's 22 feet down oh, in the water <laughs> so when you started yes. they were saying you've got to use you can book me oh that's Absolutely. very nice to hear I am here with Terry Smith, um, who has agreed to become one of our customer showcase examples. We're really happy that you've joined us today, Terry. Thank you very much. And I hope you are well. Thank you. Yes, I am. Thank you, Bridget. I appreciate this opportunity. My first question as part of the showcase uh, interview that we have is what problem have you fallen in love with um, that you're obsessed with solving? And so what is the problem that in your mind you are solving with the business that you that you have? Well, I think it's really about focusing on the client, seeing where they're at and meeting them there, and then helping them along the way. It's really that client focus that helps my business and also helps the client. And yes. did you come from about your background in HR and what you were doing as a professional into this um, this consultancy and coaching yourself because you wanted to have your own ownership over your own business? Absolutely. You know, we talk about the battered uh, career syndrome and I was in the battered career syndrome, you know, where I had been in HR for 25 years. Prior to that, I had been in real estate and helped coach individuals in from being a renter into being a homeowner. So it was very much like what I'm doing right now. And it made sense for me then to do the coaching and help people go from being an employee to being their own business owner. So that transition really seemed like it was fit for me. What tool did you get advice to use when you started your business? And then conversely, what tool would you recommend somebody else use that you've learned in the, in the, in the intermediate time? There are different kinds of tools. I mean, if we're talking about the technical piece, definitely we use You Can Book Me and, and have used that from the very beginning. So when you started, yes. they were saying, you've got to use You Can Book Me. Oh, that's Absolutely. very nice to hear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so other than you can book me then, what tool have you learned? Have you found a, a need to, to start adopting that you've been using recently that you would then recommend? Well, I had I had used LinkedIn before, but we really use it more in trying to find the right type of, of candidate and trying to make a connection with them so that then we can visit with them about our services and what we do and how we might be able to help them. So I think that's, that is really a tool that we use quite extensively. Zoom is another tool that we use, use a lot, obviously, because I'm working from home that helps me then to connect with the client. I think any time that you can see a person face to face, that you're going to develop a better rapport with them rather than just talking to them on the phone. Absolutely. And so we want to develop that rapport very quickly and get into a, a, a mindset of trust mm -hmm. when we start these calls. How did you get your first few clients and how did you, how has that referral engine been built up? And is that how you grow your business at the moment? Well, we get referrals um, from from our clients, obviously, and that's the best way to get them. Anytime the word of mouth and someone likes the services that you've provided and they've been successful and those are starting to come around. I think it takes a while for that to build up. You know, another way is through organizations. And so, you know, getting immersed in different organizations, letting them know what you do so that then they can give you referrals and they can get to know you and know what you're about. Um, making presentations at other organizations or other meetings that um, maybe you're not a member of, but they're welcoming you to provide information to their members. I think that's another way that that happens. What would you say would be the the characteristics for somebody um, that would make them a good business owner, that would make them enjoy running their own business? I think it's really having the enthusiasm, the want to, you know, 
Um, it's also having those management skills. They don't understand that the skills that they have gained in corporate America, they can then transfer those over into their business. They may not necessarily be doing the same thing that they've been doing throughout the years, but everything that they have built on managing people, being able to put together strategies, you know, following processes and procedures, all those things really mount up to a big tool set that they have. And then they're able to use that to be able to start their own business. You were about to finish the, the sort of this part of the interview, Terry, um, and we've got some quick fire questions for you. So uh, you haven't got time to think about this very much. Um, just <laughs> let me know what you think. All right. So oh, this, is called, this section is called <laughs> Would You Rather? So it's a choice. Would okay. you rather give up your phone or your laptop? My phone. Huh. In fact, a funny story. Go I on. just dropped it in the lake last night. So <laughs> I'm so homeless right now. Yeah, oh, so, so I've really given it up. <laughs> has it, it's, it's bricked, I think, is the expression. Is it, 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 won't, it won't start. Are you... Oh, I don't have it. It's 22 feet down oh, in God. the water. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. gosh, it'd be awful if my laptop fell in the river. Um, would you rather get a new client into your business or to mm. increase your revenue from an existing source or get a new source? A new source. Okay. Would you rather be known for customer service, just how you're dealing with your clients or for the actual quality of the product that you're offering? That's really difficult because I think they go hand in hand. They do. That's why it's a hard question. I, I think that I think I'm known for the service that I give. So maybe that's already established. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so then. then I can pick the other. <laughs> You can have both. All right, then. Okay. Fair enough. Well, look, it's an absolute pleasure, Terry. Thank you so much for sharing um, all that insight. Uh, I can see that you're a wonderful advocate for people and coaching people into making the right decisions for themselves and their businesses. It's what we're all about. So it's been really lovely to have you come and share your story with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.